Good morning, first graders. Again, I am so happy and so impressed by all the hard work that I'm seeing that we are putting towards our personal narrative writing. It's always kind of tricky when we start a new handwriting genre, something new that we've never done before, but we have all been showing endurance by showing all of your teachers that you can do hard things. So we're very proud of you. The next part in our pre-writing is going to be another step that helps us explore the story that we want to write. So you are gonna find this sheet. It's kind of crossed out a little bit at the top, but it has these five boxes, a nice little umbrella at the bottom. And it says, somebody wanted, but so then. Somebody wanted, but so then. These are types of papers that help us pre-write our ideas and get them all out and kind of help us think about what is gonna happen throughout the entire story. So our first box right here, somebody. Oh, before we start, at the top we have title. So try to think about the title of your personal narrative. If you don't have a title yet, that's okay, but a pretty easy title is just what your story is about. So if you went to Kings Island, or you're making a bracelet with a friend, or you're putting the Christmas tree up, that can just be your title. The author of a story is the one who writes the words, and you are the author, so your name goes there. Our first box says somebody. Who is the main character? And this should be a pretty easy one, because who is the main character in all of our personal narrative stories? You are. That's why it's a personal story, because you are the main character. So you're gonna put your name. You're the somebody. Next, we're gonna go to wanted. What did the character want? So let's think about what the character wanted. If you were making bracelets, well, you wanted to make a bracelet. If you were putting up the Christmas tree, you wanted to put up the Christmas tree. I wanted to get a new dog. If you were baking cookies, you wanted to bake cookies. That is what you want to do. Next up is but, and that is where the problem comes in. But what happened? Did anything happen that kind of messed your plan up a little bit? I mentioned before that my dog that I was supposed to get wasn't there, and that was a problem. So maybe you ran into a problem like you ran out of materials to make your craft or maybe you couldn't find the right lights, or maybe you were late in traffic going somewhere. Most of the time there's a problem. Our next step, so what did the character do to solve the problem? What did you do to solve the problem? How did we make that problem better? Well, with me, I knew there was another dog that I wanted, and that actually ended up being the perfect dog for me. That was how I solved that problem. And at the very end, we have then. How did the story end? How was the problem solved? So how'd your story end? Was it a happy ending? Was there something that still kind of went wrong that you couldn't fix? Was there something else that you decided to do at the very end? That is your ending. And scholars, remember when we are doing our pre-writing, it is okay not to have all the way complete sentences because we're just getting our ideas out on paper. So in these boxes, I don't have a lot of room to write really long sentences. So I might just write down a couple of my ideas, write down what I'm thinking. Good luck and I can't wait to see your work.